Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to The Vanishing of Ethan Carter Redux. Um, we just took a trip through the forest and um, found a story of Ethan's. Um, so, yeah. I am the Game Gent, of course. Welcome to my channel. And let's just keep investigating, shall we? In this weird, strange story at the moment. Okay, thank you trees for creaking like that, it's nice and friendly. Alright, so we got the, this is the, looks like it's the train track continuing on off here. I can see the train, yeah, it's the train in front there. Uh, is there anything? Oh, and that's, that's down from where we, okay, okay, we're good, so. So I'm presuming it led us to the forest so we can find that weird um, television screen thing so we can solve and get the, the first clue basically to where Ethan is so I guess we'll just continue onwards. I think there's a bridge down there actually. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not too sure about the, the guy who got his legs cut off by the train, but I'm sure there might be something else. Hmm, no. Beautiful music, though. Very beautiful. Um, no trains have been through here for a long time. That was part of a pattern. Large pieces of this country were thrown away, doomed to become, and then remain, the worst versions of themselves. Beneath all that rot, dark things grow. So I'm not quite sure whether this guy's like a just like a plain detective or whether it's uh like he's like a special kind of like supernaturally detective or, you know, it looks like the town over there i guess we can go on and investigate there just checking to make sure there's nothing on the train just... Another dead end. So it's only... oh. Nope, dead end. All right. See, I like sort of games like this where it kind of just drops you in the middle, and you got to figure out what's going on. Which is why I guess I like um like Dark Souls that much, is because it just gives you like the basics. This is your attack. This is your block. Now go out there and get good, basically. Um. But then it's always nice to have like a kind of chop you in in the middle of a world, give you a basic premise of, you know, this kid's missing, find him, and you've got to kind of piece together the information that you gather, and then it also allows you to give your own kind of personal input into what's kind of happening, your own kind of like um, interpretations, I guess. So what it is. We've got like a... I'm guessing it's just like a watch... watch thing there. Alright, so we've got the long walk to the city, or I'll just probably just have a check out of the, uh, the train tracks a bit further down the line, just see if there's anything else there. Oh. 
Oh, wow. Jesus, this looks like it's going to be a big game. There's probably tons of clues that I've already missed. Just the sheer size of it. Luckily, I think it's... Okay. I think it's directing me through... It's, like, linear, I guess. Because um, it seems to me that it's trying to push me to go across the bridge. So I'll just do what the game wants me to do. of people hurting each other, hurting themselves. And we blame it on compulsion, selfishness, madness. I suppose the idea is, if you name a thing, you can control it. There are things in this world that cannot be named. See, that's why I'm not sure whether he's like a supernatural kind of investigator, I think, because he's... I don't know, he's giving off weird vibes at the moment, like he knows that there's something more to it. But it's probably, it's probably not. I'm probably just reading too much into it. Alrighty. Let's, uh, let's go up here first. Have a look-see in the house. Very um barren at the moment. Pretty run down, dilapidated. Yeah, that's just the texture. Alright. I invoke the boneless one, the one of voids, destroyer of ships, and he who is feared by the winds. Hear me. Great Minister Focalo, I wish to make a pact with you to confound my enemies and protect my possessions. Use the doors of confusions to cloud their judgment. Seal the path with falsity and guile and permit only those who can discern every true interior to pass. Algon tetragram, Veshon stimulaton, apres tetragrammaton, oleum irion esterion existion arion na. Honora Orizim, yeah, okay, I can't read that last bit because I'm not very good at Latin. I'm presuming it's Latin, but, okay. And then we've got that weird symbol up the top, which kind of seems important. Yeah, and I might just write it down just in case. You never know with these types of things, I don't know. So, F, O, C, V. It's like a coil, and it's an X, and it's a kind of weird looking symbol. I don't know, it's probably just going to be like a seal or something, but I don't know. I don't know what type of game this is, so I don't really want to... Oh. Okay. Well, that was weird. Um... I know it wants to go, I just want to look at the rest of the place first before I go through the creepy door. See if there's anything at, oh no, there's another creepy door, okay. Alright, through the creepy door. Um, oh. Okay. I'm not in the same place anymore, I don't think. No, no, I don't think so. Hmm, okay. Does it matter which door I go through? Weird. 
weird. Huh? What's up? What? What was the... I'm presuming I've got to get into a house which I can't get access to. Uh, that actually. Doesn't it. Except it's not. Okay. Oh, hang on. Oh, I've got to pick the right. Okay. All right, we're getting somewhere. Okay, we're getting somewhere. I feel like I'm supposed to, I'm supposed to go and I'm supposed to pick the right room. Yes, yes. I'm I've got to f yeah, okay. All right, we're getting there. We're getting there. So, I've got to pick the right room that they would be in, if that makes sense. Yes, we're getting there now. Yes. It's making sense. Alrighty. So I don't I don't know. I don't know. I don't think it's that one. Let's go up here because there's a couple more left. One more left, I guess. Damn it. Oh no, that's that's right. That was a weird puzzle. That was a very weird puzzle. Okay. Alrighty. So what have we got here? We got. Oh, we got a human face, some chemistry going, and we got a letter with an everlasting corridor. Okay. A magician once lived inside an old house and made potions that let him see the future. People from the village came to the magician's, magician's house and demanded he share his potions with them. 
We want to see the future too, they told him, but the magician said no. The people from the village grew angry and burned the magician's house, but the magician knew this would happen. He had already cast a spell on his potion room. The house burned, but the room did not. The people from the valley waited, but the magician never came out. Why are you standing there? You spying? No. No, huh? What the hell's wrong with you exactly? <sighs> Nothing. You need to stop leaving your stupid stories around. They're freaking everyone out. Okay. Blaze reveals moonshine operation. Ashland Township volunteer firefighters discovered an apparent moonshine steal while battling a blaze in the woods off Old Ogan Road. According to authorities, the steel comprised of propane stove and four-gallon stainless steel pot, which was used to hold the whiskey mash. Based on the size of the steel, Bayford County Sheriff Hank Schaefer believes it may be part of a small operation, though he admitted there could be other steels in the county. Officers on the scene recovered a half-gallon of apple pie moonshine and one gallon of unflavored moonshine. Apple cider and cinnamon sticks were found adjacent to the steel. The police have been unable to determine who owns the steel. Sheriff Schaefer said a cigarette butt touched up the scene likely caused the fire. Uh, and it's also NASA has also launched the world's first educational satellite in Florida. Satellite 6 will directly broadcast educational programs to several countries, including the US, Canada, India, and Australia. That's quite cool. I think it's probably more for the moonshine mill still, which we seem to be standing in at the moment. So. That was in that room. So yeah, cool. All right. Yeah, that was a, uh, a weird environmental puzzle, which probably took a little bit longer than it should have, but... Oh well, cool. Well, I'll probably leave the second part of that. Um, the mysterious house. That was... that... yeah. So, if you like this video, please hit the like button below. If you want to subscribe to more Vanishing of Ethan Carter, which I'm still not quite sure what the hell is going on, other than Ethan likes writing stories and... Hanging out at moonshine steals, I guess, is the point. I don't, I don't know. But anyway, hit the subscribe button, and until next time, it's the Game Gent signing out.